Coco. You a good boy, yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be on a topic or question that I've received quite often on Instagram about ears. So we're gonna be talking about Kibo's ears, our process of helping them stand up via gluing, and just provide some tips on if you're struggling with getting your puppy's ears to stand up. When we got Kibo, both of his ears were floppy and people told us, oh, by the time that they're 12 weeks old, his ears should stand, and they did. So his ears look like this when we picked him up. And then by the time he was 12 weeks old, both of his ears had slowly started to perk up and they were in this sort of teepee or crown formation on the top of his head. And his ears looked really, really good. They were up for about four weeks. And then when he hit around 16 weeks old, both of his ears started to come down. Every breed is a little bit different in the timing of their ears and how quickly the cartilage hardens and the ear comes up. But with shepherds, so white Swiss shepherds and their close relative German shepherds, their ears tend to go up and down around the 16 week mark when they start teething. So as you can see, his ears are really, really big proportionally to his head and so, when Kibo started teething around four months old, both of his ears started flopping and we didn't really worry about it too much because it's pretty common for this to happen. Typically, by the time they're about five, six months old, both of the ears should have come back up and stood by themselves. From what I've gathered through my research and talking to a variety of different breeders and experts on shepherds, generally if the ears don't come up by around six months old, it's probably time to help them out a little bit. And this is not something you necessarily have to do. It's more a tip if you do want the ears to stand up. Um, alternately, you could just leave the ears be and they could come up, they could not. But for us, because we were showing him and I wanted to make sure that the ears came up with no problem, so we took these proactive measures to glue the ears, support them a little bit, and make sure that the cartilage forms in the right way as he was growing up. For us, we waited until Kiva was about seven months old, and you can see that his ears were on their way up. There was still this center portion here that needed a little bit of support. So just to be safe, we decided to start gluing them around seven months old. Also, just so you know, if you do have a German Shepherd or a White Swiss Shepherd and you're feeling like the ears are taking a long time to come up, you can always check with your breeder. They'll know the lines of how quickly their dogs typically tend to mature. I've heard anywhere from six months to 10 months to even one year old for how long it takes for shepherd ears to come up. So it really kind of just depends on your dog and their size and how much they're chewing and genetics and everything. Because both Kibo's parents and everyone in his lineage had perfectly fine ears, his ears probably would have been fine in the end. I just didn't want to wait until 10 months, one year old, where potentially it would be a little bit too late to help the ears. So we use this method to just be a little bit more proactive and help them come up faster. So we purchased these German Shepherd ear forms that are made out of foam. You could also just trace the general shape of your dog's ear, but I started out with these because they're already made to the shape of a German Shepherd's ear. Because both of Kibo's ears need a little bit of help, I actually ended up poking a hole through the middle of the form and then tying a string to it so that I could tie the two ear forms together. This is to make sure that the ears set in the right spot and that they're not being weighed down by the forms or pointing all sorts of weird directions. So you wanna make sure that what the ear looks like once the form is in is what you want them to look like when you take the forms out. What you wanna do is get some bonding cement. It's basically what people use to adhere wigs to their heads. I just took a little bit of this bonding cement and spread it all over the back of the ear form and then I gave it a second to dry out so that it was not super liquidy and then pressed it into his ear. It's important to hold on to the form and the ear for a couple of seconds to make sure that it really sticks because if he moves around too quickly the form could move and then it won't be in the optimal position for supporting his ear. We left the forms in for about a week at a time and then when they started to fall out by themselves or if just it felt like it had been long enough and his ears needed a little bit of a refresher, I would use this stuff. It's Unisolve Adhesive Remover. You can get it both in liquid form or they have these little pre-moistened wipes that you can use as well. So I just had Kibo lay down on his side 
and then I used the adhesive remover on a cotton round and gently helped peel the form off while using the adhesive remover on the back of it. You wanna make sure that the ears are super clean so you clean out any extra glue or gunk. And then I also used hydrogen peroxide afterwards just to make sure that there was nothing left in there so that he wouldn't have any ear gunk or potentially lead to any infection. You can let the ears sort of breathe every week or so and then see if they stand up by themselves. If after a few hours or a day they seem to be flopping back down, you wanna put the forms back in and repeat the process until it seems like the ears are standing well on their own. One thing you can do if you're not a fan of rebuying these forms over and over again is get moleskin and trace them and then use the adhesive moleskin instead. It's important not to reuse the forms because they could get dirty and you just want to keep things super clean to avoid any potential health issues for your dog's ears. So I just trace these onto adhesive moleskin, cut out the forms in the shape of the ear, and then repeated the process with moleskin instead. So you'll see after a few weeks, this actually helped a lot with Kibo's ears and they're standing up a lot higher and straighter on his head. And so we actually moved away from using the ear forms and started just using Breathe Right strips. We didn't really need to form his ears together or tie them to support them together because they were already sitting perfectly right on top of his head. He just needed a little bit more support to help that ear gain a little bit of strength. So we use Breathe Right strips, usually one or two, and same process. Just using the skin adhesive, I would put the adhesive onto the back of the Breathe Right strip and then stick it into his ear to help support the ear where it needs to be to stand up a little bit straighter. All ears are kind of different and I've seen different ears come up in different ways and point different directions. Kibos were kind of odd in that it seems like his ears are really big and they needed support horizontally so that they would stand up into the shape of an ear rather than sort of dip by the force of gravity. Other dogs have issues where maybe one ear is up and then the other one is fully floppy. So you just need to use Breathe Right strips to support the one floppy ear. So it kind of just depends on your dog and the ear and which part is weak and needs a little bit of strengthening. One other method that you could try is just giving your dog a lot of chews. So we started giving Kibo a lot of collagen chews when his ears came down. The chewing motion builds a lot of muscles on the tops of their heads that help stand the ears and support them. Giving them a lot of things to chew on can also help in addition to physically supporting the ears. And so you guys can see here that this is what Kibo's ears look like at different stages. Five months and six months, we really were just waiting for them to come up by themselves and you can see that they were on their way up. They just didn't quite make it all the way. So when we started gluing, this is what they look like. And this is what they look like now. And the process could take a variety of different timelines depending on your dog. Some people only need to take for one week. We ended up gluing over the course of a few weeks, but you can see that his ears look really, really good now. And he's nine months old. They're still gaining a little bit of strength and hardening on top of his head, but I feel good that they're gonna end up where they need to be. That's basically it. That is an overview on what we did with Kibo's ears to help make sure that they stood up the right way. And I hope that was helpful for those of you who are looking for tips on gluing your dog's ears. There are quite a few other methods out there, including using tape. I found that this way seems to be the least invasive and it doesn't really bother the dog too much. And it was pretty easy to do by myself at home. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about the process in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.